Hi everyone, this is Kamel, as your ultimate source of video editing. We are here to share with you useful editing tips and techniques that could elevate your storytelling. Before going further, make sure you download the freeware through the link we put in the description box. Alright, now let's get the video started. Would you like to edit videos as efficiently as possible? Are you getting tired of shifting between your keyboard and the mouse? Stick around, cause I'm going to show you how to use shortcuts to take your editing efficiency to the next level. Video Proc Flagger provides 29 shortcuts to make it easier for you to do everything from starting a new project to exporting an edited movie. Mastering the shortcuts of Video Proc Flagger can also help you improve the editing efficiency when using other video editors. If you need some shortcuts that are not included in the software, feel free to contact with us. Now, let's start with the shortcuts I use most often. If you want to add pictures, videos, and audio files to Video Proc Flagger, simply press Ctrl and I when on the main interface. This will open up the Windows Explorer panel. Herein, double-click the media files. You can quickly import the source media to Video Proc Flagger. If you need to split at a certain frame of a clip on video, overlay, audio, or a subtitle track, Select the target clip on the timeline. Move the playhead to the target split point and press Ctrl and B. To split media clips on all tracks at a certain time, move the playhead to the target split point, then press Alt and Ctrl and B. If you are unsatisfied with the edits and you want to undo the change, you can press Ctrl and Z. Suppose you want to undo multiple steps, just press Ctrl and Z rapidly. If you need to reverse your last undo, press Ctrl and Y. Also, you can press Ctrl and Y for many times to redo multiple actions. Let's assume you want to select all clips. Press Ctrl and A. Now, all clips on the timeline are selected. Likewise, you can bench select the clips on the media library, just like this. Given notice here, we can only select clips under the same media being in batch. Suppose you need to select multiple clips on the timeline batch. Simply press Ctrl and then select the target clips well, you can also use the shortcut when managing files in the media library. But, as mentioned, it's for selecting clips under the same bin. Let's assume there are a number of files on the media library. Then this shortcut is worthy to try. Click to select the first clip, press the Shift key and click to select the last clip. Now all clips in between are selected. If you want to duplicate certain video, overlay, effect, audio, or subtitle clips, select the target clips on the timeline and press Ctrl and C. If you want to cut some certain clips, select the target clips and press Ctrl and X. Let's say you just copied or cut some clips and you want to paste them onto a new position Simply move the playhead to the target position, then press Ctrl and V. If you want to delete certain video, overlay, effect, audio, or subtitle clips, select the target clips on the timeline and press Delete. Suppose you want to remove some clips of a video on the overlay track without leaving gaps. Choose the target clips, press the Shift and Delete. This is a shortcut that I use most often. 
though I never encountered crashes on video park flagger. I get used to use Ctrl and S to save unfinished project for preventing an accidental data loss. If you need to preview the video on the main interface, move the playhead to the position where you need the preview to start and press the spacebar Stop or pause the preview. Press the spacebar again. If you want to navigate the video frame by frame when making precise edits, press the right arrow key to move to the next frame, or press the left arrow key to move to the previous frame. If you are satisfied with the edits and you are ready to deliver the outcome, Press Alt, Ctrl, and R when on the main interface. This will lead you to the export panel. Herein, complete the settings on the basic, video, and audio sections. Then press Start to export a finished project as a video or audio clip. If you want to export a video only file, press Alt, Ctrl, and V when on the main interface. If you want an audio-only file, simply press Alt, Ctrl, and A when on the main interface. This will lead you to the export panel. After completing the settings on the basic and audio sections, press Start. You can export the audio. Let's assume you need to start a new project while editing. Press Ctrl and N when on the main interface. This will open a project panel Herein, you can complete the general settings such as the file name and the resolution. When you are satisfied with all the settings, hit the New Project button. Now you can add it for the new project. To open an existing video product flagger project while editing, press Ctrl and O when on the main interface. This will open the Windows Explorer panel. Here, you can double-click the saved project file to open it. If you want to save a copy of the working project, press Shift, Ctrl, and S while on the main interface. This will open the Save Project S panel. If you want to archive the project for making edits on another computer, press Shift and E. By archiving the project, Video Product Flagger will save your editing decisions, source media files, and other data that are used in the project into one folder. Thus, when you move to another device or delete or adjust the location of the source file, you won't have any problem to open the last save project as long as the archive file is there. If you want to close the project and exit the program, press Shift and C while on the main interface. Suppose you want to adjust the project folder, transition durations, photo durations, hardware acceleration settings, and other general settings for getting the most out of video block flagger. Press F2 while on the main interface. This will lead you to the setting panel for applying the needed adjustments. If you want to upgrade video product flagger, press Ctrl and U while on the main interface. Let's say you want to come back to the main interface from a sub panel such as the speed editor, crop, motion, color, audio to text, and the resolution panel. Press Alt and F4. If you need to quit the program, press Alt and F4 while on the main interface. If you want to access the help menu, press F1 while on the main interface. Video Product Flagger will pop up a page on your browser where you can find everything you want to know about video editing. If you forget the shortcuts of some features, you can click here to check the full list of shortcuts. Well, you can also stay tuned to our YouTube channel we will keep uploading more tutorials about video editing skills and techniques.
All right, now you reached today's video about the 29 shortcuts in Video Quack Flagger. I think you've got it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye.